the government has articulated its views on, on this subject matter, both in the budget address in 2018 and also in the Independence Day address of 2018. And we have placed in context the approach which we would like to take as a country in advancing ourselves on the issue of, of marijuana and its potential uses. So this is the first opportunity where as citizens of our country and stakeholders, we can, have, we can start the process of having a wholesome dialogue and conversation. It's not an argument, it's a conversation we should be having on this matter. Obviously, all of us do not agree on every subject matter on this issue, but that is all part of the dialogue and the conversation which we, which we, need, which we should have and need to have so that we can come to certain conclusions as a nation on how do we approach the issue of marijuana and its various uses. But the fact is, we cannot be unmindful that the world's attitude towards marijuana has changed and is changing. And there are many who have been advocating for those changes for a very long time. And um, I think that the time has come for, for there to be an enlightened conversation on the issue, on religious purposes, on medic, uh, medic, medicinal purposes. But at the same token, too, I believe we must not, all, must not be unmindful of the challenges which the movement towards allowing these things to become a reality will also pose, especially to um, young people who we do not want to ex expose in any unreasonable or irresponsible manner to the misuse and overuse of the, of, of, of the herb and so forth. So there is a continuum of, of views, um, not only here in Dominica, but regionally and also internationally. But I, I, believe, I am satisfied that uh, we can find consensus on some things that we can deal with almost immediately while we continue dialogue on other things which we need a greater level of understanding, appreciation, and consciousness. I believe fundamentally and, and ideologically that we should not allow the prosecution of individuals for small quantities and having that on the record for their lifetime. I believe that these are things that we can deal with almost immediately as a nation towards the changing of the legislation in respect to that. The, the issue of those who are recognized Rastafarians and who, who use the, the herb as part of their ritual and religious processes, I believe that we can find consensus on these things to allow for the Rastafarian movement to properly and legally, without any fear of persecution or prosecution, to be able to have access to, to this um, substance, to this um, um, herb, in a responsible manner, without any fear of prosecution. So I think there are some things that we can find consensus on very, very easily, and we can move on. But there will be other things, I believe, that will need some more time for more consultation, more conversation, because with one action that we will take, there will be attendant issues which we have to address to allow it to function and to operate in a manner that is, that is um, acceptable, not, only, not, not to all, but to the majority. So I, I think it is not a situation where the government is seeking to impose its likes or its dislikes on the society in respect to this matter. I believe once we get a sense that there is consensus, there is an appreciation for the issues, the, the government has the political will to, to take these matters to parliament and, and, and to effect necessary legislation to, to allow for these things to become operationalized. I really wish I could stay with you throughout the consultation, but I'm leaving you in even more capable hands in the person of the Deputy Prime Minister, Honorable Reginald Ostry, who will, who will sit in for me uh, during the entire course of this consultation. Um, and I look forward to, to receiving 
the uh, results of this consultation. I give you the assurance that every view expressed here today would be recorded and would be analyzed. And a report will come out of that, of, 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 of those um, discussions, so that it can serve as a basis and a foundation for future consultations. Because what I want to caution us again against is for there to be possibly going in circles discussing this matter, you know, which is usually a, a, a temptation of human beings to not want to resolve an issue, but to continue talking about it infinitum. So I believe once we can agree on a couple of issues, let's deal with it decisively, and let's move on to the next um, subject matter or, or item on the agenda so that we can come full circle at some point in life. Maybe not all in our generation, but certainly we would have laid the foundation uh, for future generations and so forth. Um, so I'm hoping that we can have this enlightened discussion. And I think we as a country, we as a world, we as a region, we have come a long way. When we can now openly discuss the issue of the decriminalization of marijuana and the many uses which many people have advocated for so long um, in the wilderness, um, talking about it. And I'm happy that we, we, we have been able to have the discussion. And what better time you can have this, this consultation at age 40. <laughs> so age 40 that we have in this consultation. But I, I really want to thank all of you for being here and thank the organizers and, and, and all of you here. And of course, especially uh, Professor Antoine, who, who, who chaired the, the CARICOM uh, Commission on, on this. And I have read most of the 132-page document um, I will read the rest in, in some point, but I have, I have tried to capture the salient um, issues and recommendations, and, and um, some of which we are fully in agreement with, and of course some of which we need more um, discussion and consultation at the regional level. But I think we all need to read this document. I believe we have placed it on the government website, so you can have it downloaded, because we, to print 132 pages for all of you here, it would, be, it would cost money, and we need money for not spending money. But you, have, you can get a soft copy, and you can read in your own time. But it's a 132-page uh, document um, um, that all of us should read, because that would also help. This is why we, invite, we invited Professor Antoine here to facilitate the discussion, because it would save us some time in terms of not having a prolonged discussion on issues that we can really agree on um, very speedily and very quickly. I am very sorry to the ministers the two ministers who have been leading the, the charge, Dr. Daru and, and Honorable Blackmore, for disrupting the program. But I hope you understand the reason why I had to disrupt the program. Um, God bless you, and thank you very much. Sir.